remodeling rooms for the best acoustics. <laughs> well, here we are again uh, in, in Paul's backyard video series. <laughs> this, this is Terry and my garden. We have little tomato plants coming up here. This is the kid's sandbox when the grandkids come over. Yeah, it's, it's really pretty out here right now. I just had to find a shady spot because it's kind of bright out here today. Anyway, Tyler in Syracuse, New York writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, first I'd like to express how much I enjoy your videos. Thank you, kind sir. And how much of an impact they have made when I think about audio. Um, in the near future, I'd like to remodel a room in my house to be a music listening room. Yeah. Before buying and placing acoustic treatments, including diffusers and absorption panels, I'm considering going further by insulating the walls with a noise damping installation, insulation um, like rock wool, and replacing the drywall before adding the additional treatments. Do you think the rock wool insulation will deaden the room too much? Or perhaps the insulation will negate the need for additional absorption panels? No. No, I don't. I think it's a great idea. First off, what we, as you clearly know, because you wouldn't have written what you did if you didn't, what we clearly know is we don't want a room that is dead, right? You need to have the reflections of the room. For example, and I use this a, a lot, I'm, I'm putting together um, a new series of books called The Audiophiles Guide and it'll answer a lot of these questions for you. But in the meantime, uh, one of the things we cover in that is the idea that if we were outside here and we took a set of stereo speakers and tried to play them, it wouldn't sound very good. It just wouldn't work too well. And that's because there are no reflections, right? Outside, there's nothing for the sound to bounce off of. When we put it into a room, it's one of these double-edged sword things. We kind of hate our rooms because they do all kinds of bad things, but they also make it work at all. So you want those reflections in the room. And those reflections, though, that you're interested in are in the upper frequencies, say from 400 hertz or so on up. So my voice, in, in, in the area that my voice is, you want room reflections. You want my voice bouncing off the walls. Um, but what you don't want is the bass bouncing off the walls because then you get standing waves. And bass is going to be your biggest problem in any room. So there, in a perfect room, we'd have the bass wouldn't bounce around anywhere. It would just present itself to you within the room not build up any of these big standing waves and where you have these dips and bumps uh, for the base because that's that's where our real problem lies so by putting your rock wall insulation uh, into um, uh, rock wool sorry uh, insulation into the walls to keep things quiet you'll help the base a little bit and you won't harm the highs at all because the highs are going to bounce off at the drywall, which is what you already have. So that's the first part of your question. So, boy, you know, make it as dead as you can within those walls, then put your drywall around and you'll be fine. Second part of that question is, will that negate the need for diffusers and other things in the room? And the answer to that is no. Now, you're still going to need diffusers uh, where, well, again, that's, I can't tell you in a, in a little five-minute video where to put diffusers, but I'll cover those kind of things in, in, this, in this new series that you'll be able to pick up and, and give you some help with that. But um, there, there's plenty of online stuff if you want to look around. There's the, the old mirror trick. Um, to where you, you want to have the point of first reflection where out of the speakers comes the sound and it hits the first place it hits the wall and then bounces back towards your listening position. That's a good place for diffusers to kind of muddle up the sound so it's not so direct. And, and the good trick with that is that we call it the mirror trick. And because you want to know from where you're seated where the tweeter is first going to hit the wall. So you have a friend line themselves up against the wall holding a mirror and they just move along the wall in front of the speaker until you in your listening position can see the tweeter in the mirror. And that's the point where the sound is first going to hit. 
So we'll use light as a way of measuring where sound is going to reflect first. And that's where we put our diffuser. Anyway, all kinds of good tricks like that in the audio files guide. I'll tell you more about that as, as time goes on. Still give a couple months away. So thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. And I do hope these tomatoes are coming in sooner as opposed to later, but they look pretty small. I love tomatoes. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.